Step 8. Configure the project. So we already created a simple Spring Boot project now. Now we will configure the project for our application. So let's get started. We have our Spring Boot project here in the IntelliJ editor. We have our source code. We have Maven. We have pom.xml. Let's go to first resources. So inside resources, we can put our static HTML pages and other properties. I'm going to do what I will delete them because I want to use YAML file instead of properties file. So I will delete them and I will create here inside resource new file application dot YAML. YAML is one type of file where we provide all the configuration details through tab spaces. This is very popular for configuration and wherever we have DevOps or anything we use, most of the places we use YAML there. What are the details needed in YAML? So this API will connect to Microsoft SQL Server. So I will be providing the details of my server name, username, password, database name. So those details will be there. So you can see the YAML file have information on tab space. I'm using local SQL server database. So you can see the complete path. SQL server needs port 1433. Uh, this is the username, password, the driver, and I have put JPSO SQL because I want to see the SQL code printed on the terminal. So this is my application.yaml file. Next configuration, what I need to do? I need to generate the endpoints through Swagger. So I need to import Swagger library. I'll be providing the link of this file and the link of Swagger library. Where we will put the library details? You are right, pom.xml. So let's go to pom.xml and we have a section called dependencies. Uh, I'm going to put two dependencies. So these dependencies are from Spring Fork, Fox. They have implemented Swagger 2. One is for Swagger UI and the other one is our Swagger 2. We will click on this M to download these dependencies. I'll provide the link of these dependencies on the chat. Perfect. Once the dependencies are imported, we will need this to generate our documentation. We will go inside our Java and in the package, I'm going to create a new package called config. So I will write new package config. Now we will be importing these dependencies to our project. So I will click new Java class swagger configuration. Now this class just I need to annotate it. Enable swagger 2. This annotation will completely change this class as a configuration class for swagger. We will need one more annotation called configuration so that when Spring Boot is initializing the application, it will read through the details of this file and make sure it will understand that this is a configuration file and it is used to create Swagger documentation. So it will read the endpoints and generate the documentation. So two configuration for this project was, first was to set up our database environment. So what should be the JDBC URL, username, password and driver. And second configuration was for Swagger. So that when I create my REST API, how I'm going to generate the endpoints. Thank you.